What's up guys, we're back for another episode of Angel Beats. And in the last episode, we did see that Yui got obliterated thanks to Otonashi helping her out and help her feel fulfilled. <laughs> but then I was thinking, you know, people here think that getting obliterated is a bad thing. So wasn't Yui like, yo, wh why am I disappearing? What the hell? Otonashi, you bastard, what are you doing? <laughs> or maybe they feel happiness when they're being obliterated. Who knows? But by the looks of it, it looks like Otonashi, Hinata, and Tenchi are gonna stay to the very end. Because Hinata said that, you know, he doesn't want to leave because he would be worried about the other people. So who knows? Maybe he's gonna help out Otonashi with his plan to obliterate everybody. Yo, and also, I just realized that the episodes are a bit longer than like 20 minutes. But like 25 or something, 26. No wonder editing felt so goddamn long. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get right into the episode. <laughs> Why do they care? <laughs> yeah, that's true. What the hell does now we want with him? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with Naoi? Why why does he not want Hinata to get Otonashi's help? Well, impressive that he actually figured it out. <laughs> I want to be with you. Yo, why does his shadow look like fire? Wait, what's going on with him? Oh, it's that shadowy figure that they fought last episode. How the hell did they defeat that thing? Whoa, yo, that thing is a goddamn shadow. Oh, shooting it does work. Oh yeah, she knows they're up to something. Oh, right, we never got to see her wings. Why is she telling her this shit? It's supposed to be a secret. Wait, what? Now we? <laughs> He's a genius. He actually is helping out. You know what? Good job. <laughs> Yo, he's saying this shit with a straight face. What? He's really a, a good actor, isn't he? So, there really is no program for this shadow figure. Shit, gunshots? Holy shit, there's a whole bunch of shadowy monsters. Dang, yo, those are some pretty cool wings. But they don't work. Yeah, she's just gonna fall straight to the ground. Wait. How the hell did she do that? She like broke her fall, like floated a little bit. I am so confused. What are these things? And why are they here? Yo, what? Why is everyone so goddamn good at killing and have like amazing moves? And then there's Tenchi just walking like... Phew. Wait, the NPCs are turning into that? Okay, so we know that the monsters come from NPCs, but we don't know why. So she thinks that it's the world trying to get rid of them because they've been here for too long? Wait, they kidnapped one of them? Wait, it ate him? That's what it was doing to Naoi, right? Sucked into the ground? Wait, he's just chilling right here. Oh no, don't tell me they turned him into an NPC. Oh no, they did something to him. Oh shit, yo, his eyes seem kind of weird. Maybe whoever or whatever is doing this is trying to like brainwash them to go to school and attend classes because, you know, that will obliterate them. Ah oh, shit, he really did turn into an NPC. 
His soul was in? So he's really just stuck here? What? I can't be. I mean, the season finale has to be them saving everybody, right? Because this is messed up. I don't know, maybe every NPC gets their soul back and then they die peacefully. <laughs> yeah, she figured them out. <laughs> so this is it. Everyone here is going to be informed on what he was trying to do. On how to get obliterated by feeling fulfilled. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? Hey, true, what does Yuri want? Alright, well that didn't answer the question. <laughs> well, of course not. But did he think she was an angel the whole time? Oh! You know... I never really thought about Tenshi having a soul that much. <laughs> you know, at first I thought she was an NPC by the way she acted, but then I thought that she was actually a human too. But then I started doubting myself because she sure as hell doesn't act like a human. Not to mention that she has abilities. <laughs> but how the hell did a human like her get abilities like that in this world? <laughs> Pretty impressive. Maybe she's just been here for a long ass time. <laughs> So she has reasons as to why she's not obliterated? Are we ever gonna find out? So Tenshi is gonna get obliterated at some point, or at least that's what Otonashi wants. Wait, what, where the hell is she going? I'm so confused. What the hell is Yuri gonna do? Well, off she goes. Maybe she's gonna go and get obliterated, and we don't even know. Alright, so Yuri is getting ready. So there's someone behind this. The library? That's where she thinks she'll find answers to what the hell's going on? Wait a minute, who the hell is this? There really is a person behind all of this. Setting up a new computer? Wait, computers get stolen? So someone probably has a base filled with computers. Yeah, but how the hell are you gonna find him? Wait, what is that? Are you telling me there's a secret room underneath? Is it really a good idea to be doing this alone? Wait, what? So they're using that old freaking guild that they blew up? Why is it always there? <laughs> Dang, so the person behind all of this is just programming on some computers so that the NPCs turn into the shadow things. But obviously that raises the question, who is it and why are they doing it? Such interesting questions that I want to find out right now. So I'm going to watch the next episode. Well, they're satisfied, but why are they still here? Well, off they go and seems like we're never going to see them again. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. There's, there's hundreds of them. Oh, Tenchi's here. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Everybody's helping out. Holy shit. Even TK. Yo, the whole squad is showing up. <laughs> is that the guy who would always eat ramen? Oh, it is. Oh, dang. He lost a lot of weight. Oh, shit. Well, the person probably knows that Yuri's there. They turned every single NPC into shadows. Wait, but that means that if they kill all of the shadows, then there's going to be no NPCs left. And there's going to be no enemies. But killing a thousand shadows, yeah, that seems pretty hard. 
Oh, it looks like everyone's gonna go along with Dotonashi's plan. Who's that? One of the old guild members? Wait, so even the guild members are helping out? Yeah, this really is a war. Yeah, I guess if there's no battlefront, then there's no need for a guild. Aw, he's gone. So well, that's really it. Every single person is probably going to leave this place by the end of the season. Of course she is. Why wouldn't she? She does everything Otonashi tells her to do. Oh, what was that? Are they trying to tell us that Tenshi and Yuri are somehow connected? Wait, what the hell is happening? Oh, we're seeing a bit of Yuri's life? Wait. Wait, I thought that these were flashbacks, but Yuri is in, you know, the school that the anime takes place in. And she saw everybody fighting the shadow figures outside for a second. So I'm guessing that Yuri probably turned into an NPC, but, you know, she's fighting it. Oh shit, yo! Whatever is happening to her, it's not working. Oh, she doesn't want, you know, to be taken over, turned into an NPC or nothing like that. Dang, so... Yeah, they weren't gonna leave her alone. Holy shit, how's Tenchi doing that? <laughs> oh, is she like inspired or something? Well, this is it. There's a room in here. Hey, how many computers did this guy steal? He made a whole goddamn server room. So, who's that? Is that a new character? What rules, though? So no one even knows who the hell created this software? Oh, this guy's freaking stupid. He's not answering anything. <laughs> Love? What? Love isn't meant to exist here? What type of shit is that? What the hell? So, because of love, all this shit's happening? Where is that guy right now? That's my question. Yeah, like, how is she gonna come back here? Holy shit, so if the guy's an NPC, does that mean he's still around? So the world can be changed? Is that what she wants though? <laughs> the hell's wrong with her? The hell is she actually crazy? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is what she wanted the whole time? Alright, good. For a second I thought Yuri had gone crazy. She senses love? For who? Well, I guess for her friends. Holy shit, she's actually doing it. So, did Yuri just save this world? Well, there's one computer left. There's only one way to find out. Go and check. That's why she was the leader? Wait. She about to get obliterated? 
It seems like she doesn't want to leave, but... Looks like this is it. Man, and I like Yuri. Yep, I'm pretty sure she's gone now. Dang, I wonder if the rest were aware that this might have happened. Wait, what's this? Oh wait, she didn't get obliterated? Dang, that was a pretty intense episode. So it all started because some random shadow figures started appearing and it looks like what they were trying to do is turn everybody into an NPC. And later we learned that it was a person who programmed that. So I looked up the wiki on the programmer because I was kind of confused as to what was going on. So it seems like there was once a human here who fell in love and then the other girl died. So obviously he was sad that she left. So he waited for her. He was just planning on staying there until that girl would come back. However, that would mean that she died while being a teenager and she died with a dark backstory because that would allow her to come back here. So yeah, that is a very unlikely scenario. So many, many years passed. The guy went crazy and he created a program to turn into an NPC. However, he didn't want this to happen to anybody else. So he made a program that would turn every human into an NPC if it detects a big amount of love. And they said that that love was coming from Yuri, probably her love for everybody else. So the program was like, nah, we can't have this shit. Bam, turn everybody into NPCs. However, they fought and they won. So I guess now I'm wondering what's gonna happen with everybody here. Are they just going to spend the last episode trying to get obliterated, you know, trying to feel fulfilled? Kind of seems that way since everybody accepted what Otonashi said. It seems like everyone's on board, they believe him. So yeah, maybe that's what they're going to do next episode. And also we had the scene with Yuri where it seems like she was turning into an NPC because, you know, she was in class, she was just studying, having a normal life. But she got pretty upset because she was saying something like, you know, that's not her life. Since this world is forcing you to be a student so that you can get obliterated. Because the world wants you to feel fulfilled. They want you to be happy. But I guess Yuri thinks that you can't be happy if you're not actually living the way you want. But luckily, Otonashi, Hinata, and Naoi went to rescue her. We don't got to worry about that anymore. So yeah, next episode is the season finale. I'm really curious as to what's going to happen. So I'll see you guys there and I hope you guys stick around.